Here I'll show you how to install a date picker in Excel. It is an awesome feature where when you go to a cell with a date, you click this little dude right here and it pops up this window where you can select the date. It is so cool. It makes life so much easier and it's great for when you have a form and you want users to fill out the form and they don't know how they should input a date into Excel. Now they don't need to know that. They just go here, click that, select the date, Life is good. Everybody's happy. Before we start, make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. Okay, so if you've looked this up online, how to install a date picker, you may have seen a few different ways to do it. And one of them is a built-in method in previous versions of Excel. Doesn't work well when you send the workbook out to somebody else. And it doesn't work in newer versions of Excel. So what I'm going to show you here is how to install an add-in from a third party. And there's a link below the video. This guy did an amazing job. And that's where we're going to go to get the date picker. So the link is samradapps.com forward slash date picker. And it is amazing. And it's free. And it is so cool. And all you do is go down here. It's a very simple web page. Go to download now, click that, and it'll go ahead and download onto your computer. Now go to where it is. it has been downloaded. It'll download as a zip file. So what we're going to do is to right click it, go to, where are you? Extract all. So it's off the screen right now, but you should see it. Open up the file, and now we have all we need right here. Now, we're not going to do anything with this just yet. It is good to go, though. So what we want to do is go back to Excel. And there are a couple different ways to install it. I'm going to show you the easiest way, which has worked for me. We go to File. Then we go down here to Options. Go to Add-ins. And down here, it says Manage. Excel add-ins. If it doesn't say Excel add-ins, just select it. Hit go. And now we have where you can add things like the analysis tool pack. You may have heard that. And what we want to do here is go to browse. Locate the file that you just unzipped right here. Click that. Hit OK. And now you should see it right here in the window and it should already be checked. Check it if it's not. And hit OK. Now look at that. We have our date picker and it's here in Excel and it is amazing. Now I'm going to show you how to use the date picker and go over a few things related to dates. And then at the end, I'm going to show you how to do one little thing that you probably are going to have to do just in case Excel doesn't recognize the date picker when you close and reopen the program. It's an issue that you may or may not have, so I'll cover it at the end just in case. So let's see how it works. I've got a cell selected. I'm going to go ahead and make it bigger. It's on the Home tab, Date Picker. Click it and look at this beauty. Select a date and let's make the cell bigger. Bam! Isn't that amazing? Another one down here. And look, we have a little pop-up right here. It thinks we're going to put a date in here because we just put a date in above it. So we can very quickly click that. And we have it right here next to our cell. Put in another date. Enter. Bam. This is amazing. Now, this little dude doesn't pop up when you go to just any cell in the worksheet. So if I go over here where it doesn't really know what it's going to be, thinks it could be text, it's not going to pop up. It's only if it either is a date like this in a date format or it thinks I'm going to put in another date, which it did because I went just below a current date. So if you are in another cell and you want to input the date, you could right click it. OK, it's off the screen right now. Let's try down here, right click, OK. And at the top, we should see a little dude that allows us to add the date. Now, this is one little issue. You should be able to right click and see it, but it doesn't always pop up by default. Sometimes what you have to do, go over here, and you see this show on right click. It's checked. Let's uncheck it, and then let us recheck it. Now, when I right click, we see at the very top, date picker. And if Excel is not at the bottom of your screen, this will appear at the top of the list right next to where you right click. So you can very quickly go to the right and click date picker. And once you do that, you get the lovely, lovely date picker again.
So to right click, click the drop down error, arrow, uncheck and recheck show on right click. Now if you don't want that little dude that appears when you click a date to appear, we can go ahead and uncheck show in grid. So maybe you don't want to see that. Now we click it and nothing. That's helpful if you don't want to sort of muddy up the Excel interface, but you still want the lovely little date picker that shows when you click the button up here. Now the date picker is pretty cool because right now we just I just chose a date that's very close to right now. But if we go down here, not only can we do that, we could click the current day and time right here at the bottom. That's pretty cool. So Okay, this one just inserted the date. If you want to do the date with the time, I misspoke, go down here and right click it. So actually the little hint says it right there, right click to insert date and time. So make it bigger. And it's just really, really helpful. Now in a moment, I'll show you some keyboard shortcuts that make that maybe not so useful, but it's just kind of a cool little addition. So it's not just a calendar. And if you want to go for dates that are farther away, you could click the arrows to change the month or much more useful, just click the date right here and you can choose one of the months very, very quickly. And the same for the years, click the year and you can go through the years very quickly. So you don't just have to click the buttons again and again and again to get the kind of date that you're looking for or the date you're looking for. So very easy. And I think that's just about it for the date picker dude. I'm going to leave show and grid on. Now here also, you don't have to go to the big guy right here. I just like using this interface. You could click this one for the current date and this one for the current date and time. So lots of cool little options. Honestly, I don't know why this guy is not in Excel by default. It feels right at home here on the home tab. Now that I have covered, well, pretty much everything the date picker can do, let's talk about the problem that you are going to run into. Okay, so we've installed it. It's working. Yay. But now let's go ahead and close Excel and reopen it. So here we are and no date picker on the home tab. Nope, not there. But when we go to file, and we go down here to Options, and then we go to Add-ins, and down here to Manage Excel Add-ins. Well, look, it says Sam Rad Apps Date Picker. It's checked, it's ready to go, but it's not. So the problem is that we've downloaded the file from the internet, and by default, new versions of Windows and Excel aren't going to trust the file, so we need to make it trusted. So go to the directory on your computer where the file is located, the unzipped version, and now what you want to do is to right click this file and we can go down here to properties and here where it says security this file came from another computer and might be blocked to help protect this computer check unblock hit OK now let us go back to Excel and close and reopen it and here we have our beautiful lovely date picker yay so everything is good. We are happy. Life is great. And that really should be all that you have to do, and it should work. And the really good thing, much better than if you use some of these stupid methods online to have ActiveX control, is that this is a date. Okay, it's a real proper Excel date. And if we go here and make it general, you will see it is a real date. So if another user gets this file and they do not have a date picker on their computer, they are still going to be able to see the date, use the date, do everything with the date that you can do with the date. All this is is a nice, neat, super awesome, amazing interface for inputting a properly formatted date into Excel. Now, if for one reason or another this did not work, to install on your computer. Let's go back to the website where we got it from. So there are other installation instructions right here and you can read them, you can follow them, do whatever you need to do. But honestly, I have never had to do that when I've installed the date picker. It was just really easy to use these instructions right here. Unzip it, file options, add-ins, go, then manage Excel add-ins, browse to the file, install it. And then here is a little section that proves that I didn't just make up that you need to unblock the file if it doesn't work. 
So obviously this is a common issue that occurs. And there's also another little issue if you have something with the trusted folder, a problem with that. However, I have not had that problem. Now, really, really quickly, let's go back to Excel. I'm gonna show you some really cool date shortcuts. Control semicolon, then we get the current date, awesome. Or control shift semicolon, and we get the current time. And if you want the formulas, you could do equals today or equals now. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.